with the Winkle, and today we're making an air, air hockey, hockey game. game. Juliet, we love playing games at our house, don't we? Yeah. We love playing like what? What's your, some of your um, favorite? The mermaid game. Yes. Pentang. Yes, we love playing And the owl game. Yeah, we love so many games, and today we are going to make our own game out of our Winkle stuff today. Mm -hmm. Should we see what's in our kit? Yeah. Okay. Four red checkers, four black checkers, Tape, mini popsicle sticks, and two rubber bands. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun today, Juliet. Uh huh. Okay, on top of everything in your kit, you'll need a sharp pencil to poke a hole, mm -hmm. some scissors to cut your cardboard, yes. and you will need your box. It could be a winkle box or any other box you have around the house, even a shoe box. Yep. And if you want, you can always decorate your box with like markers or stickers or anything else you might have. But you don't have to, that's just optional. Once you have all those things, we're ready to get started. Uh huh. Okay, Julia, your box has a flap on it like this, right? Okay, so we are gonna cut that flap off. If you're using a box that doesn't have a flap, maybe you can use the lid or another piece of cardboard to make a flap that will fit for this project. See that? Uh-huh. Okay, we're gonna want it to fit between here, okay? So in our air hockey game, this is gonna be like the line in the middle where they're trying to get the puck, which is the checker, to go through a hole in the middle, okay? So first we need to make sure that this is the right length. So we're going to measure, we're gonna hold it up to that edge over there and we're gonna measure right here. Good, thanks for helping. And we're gonna cut that. So everybody's is gonna be different depending on what size of box you're using, but you wanna make sure you have a cardboard piece that fits right there nice and snug in the middle. Oh, see how that's bowing like that? That's called mm. bowing when it's like that. That's because it's just a little too long. So I'm gonna give it a trim. Can I put it in? Yeah, do you wanna see if that works? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's nice. Is it bowing anymore? No. No, it's not. That's great. Just perfect. So the checker is going to be going through this flap. It can't go through that flap right now because it's yeah. not a hole. Yeah. So we need to measure how wide this checker is and give it a little extra space. So from there to there. Do you think that'll be a big enough hole for us? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. And we want it to come up kind of high like this to give the checker a nice good chance to get through. Yeah. Right? Does that look like a nice little target? Yeah. Okay. We're going to cut that out. Whenever we're engineering a project like this, it's very open-ended, meaning everybody's could be a little bit different. You can design it where your uh, hole right here, maybe it's on the side or this side, or maybe you have three different holes or two different holes, it's totally up to you. Maybe your holes are small or big, and you can just experiment with how you want it and make it your own and make it special. Okay, Juliet, do you wanna try putting that in our box? Yes. Okay. We're going to need to use some tape so it doesn't fall over, right? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to peel a piece of tape like this, and half of it's gonna be on the cardboard and half of it's going to be out like that. And then you're going to put it right here against the cardboard. So see how there's a little bit on the flap and a little bit on the box. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna try doing it on that side, Julia? Yeah. Put a little bit on the flap and a little bit on the box. You wanna make sure your barrier in the middle stays in the middle while you're doing that. Okay, and let's reinforce it. Reinforce means it's already it's already here, it's already secure, but we wanna make it nice and stable so it doesn't move. So again, I'm putting tape on the flap and on my box. Is it nice and secure? Oh yeah, that's gonna work really nicely. Good job. Now at this point, if you wanna decorate your box, you totally can to make it more like a game. So I'm gonna actually add a target right here What's a target? Oh, that's a good question. A target is the spot that we're trying to aim for. This team over here will be trying to aim for this target right here. And this team over here will try to aim for this target right here. G O A What you, does that say? That says goal! Uh, O, A, L, there. That's kind of go. 
good, but it's still good. It's really good. I like it a lot. Julia, do you know there's actual game designers? Yeah. Like that's a job you could have when you grow up. You could design games. You could design like board games, yard games, video games. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Would you love to have that job? So like today, you guys are making your own game. So I'm gonna give you these instructions, but if you wanna make it different or make different designs, you totally can. Or even make different rules. That's okay yeah. too. So we have our game all designed with this in the middle. Uh, we have our lane that shows where the checkers need to aim for the goal. And I even put these spaces over here because the checkers that aren't in play are gonna be over here for the game. Okay, so our box is all made. For the purpose of showing you this video, I went ahead and cut the lid off of it. If you guys wanna cut the lid off of it, you can. Or if you just wanna le leave the lid flapped open, that's fine too. But it's a lot easier for me to show you if we don't have that lid attached. For this part, Juliet, we're gonna cut our rubber band in half because it's gonna stretch from one side to the other, like that, okay? It's gonna be the thing where you pull back and then it's gonna shoot through there. That's right, it's gonna launch it, that's right. Yep. So what we need is to poke a hole on the side of our box. We're gonna go about an inch and a half away from the edge, so about right here. We're gonna get that hole as close to the bottom of the box as we can, see right there? Pretty close, if you look at it on the inside, you can see that hole is right there close to the bottom of the box. Because our rubber band is gonna go across and we don't want our checker to go underneath the rubber band, okay? We want the rubber band to be right on the bottom of the box. Make that hole a pretty good size so we can get our rubber band through. And then we're gonna make another hole behind it, about a half an inch behind it, and I make about two or three holes right next to each other to make a long hole because our popsicle stick needs to fit in it like that. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to put the tip of my rubber band onto the tip of my pencil and I'm going to push it through that first hole that we made, not the long hole. I'm gonna push that rubber band through, pop! It just popped out. Ha. Do you wanna grab it? Uh, let me just... Good job. Nice. A lot of kids at home don't know how to tie a knot. If you do, then tie a knot. But if not, we're just going to squeeze that with our fingers like that. Stretch it out. See how stretchy it is? I'm holding it right here and stretching it out right there. Twist, 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 twist. and then this long end right there. See? That long end. I'm going to stick it in the box and kind of like underneath that flap. See that? flap that's inside of there? Yep. Okay, good. Okay, so let's poke our hole in the other side. Again, we're gonna poke a hole about an inch and a half from the edge, really close to the bottom, and then a hole behind that that has like three pokes in it for a popsicle stick to go through. Is that the same? Mm -hmm. Symmetrical? Mm -hmm. It is. Okay, we're gonna stretch the rubber band across. Put our pointy pencil through the very tip of the rubber band and poke it through. Can you grab that? Do you see it on the other side? Grab it. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. I know. This is probably the hardest part. But if you have a partner, sometimes it's easier. But I think you guys can do it with enough practice. So you point the pencil onto the rubber band like that, and then you stick the pencil through the box. Good job. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna twist it around the popsicle stick. One, two, and then stick that long side into the box. Try and get out any twist that might be in this rubber band. Mm -hmm. Might need to untwist it a little bit. There, oh, that's awesome. That's gonna be a fun game. Should we do it on the other side? Yep. We know how to do this now. Mm -hmm. We poke a hole at the bottom of the box, an inch and a half in. And then what? A hole behind that with one, two, three pokes. Okay, let's do our hole on the other side. Hole. One. One hole, and then what's this one? Two. One, two, three, right? What do we do with our rubber band? 
Uh, cut. Cut. That's right. Now what do we do? Poke it through. That's right. We poke this through. Can you get it? I'm trying to poke it through. Poke it through. Got it. Yay, you got it. Guys, now what do we go. do? Do you remember? Stretch it around our popsicle stick, right? Uh-huh. Give it a couple of twists. Make sure it's twisted up on itself and stick that long end into the box. Yep. Nice and snug. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. Now we're going to stretch it to the other side. This is the hardest part, but we're almost done. After this part, we will be done with our game. Yep, and then we can play it. And then we can play it. That's the funnest part. Yes, so we have it at the end of our pencil, stretching it through. Oh, can you get it? Do you have it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, now I'll grab it. I can't it. hold it. <laughs> All right, good job. Okay. I'll get the popsicle stick and we one, two, two, three. and then three is the twist into the hole, into the box. Oh, look, we have a twist in our rubber band. So we're going to try and straighten that out. Oh, man. That's okay. That's going to happen to the kids at home, too. Yeah. That's okay. We can just do it again. We're going to poke it through. Mistakes are great. Mistakes are how we learn. Yeah. Right? We're going to try it again. We're going to poke it through. Okay. Juliet's going to grab it because she's so good at that. Hold on tight to it. We are so good at this by now. One, One two, two, and then stick it in the it. box. No twists in the rubber band. Yep. This looks awesome. awesome. Now, Julia, this isn't an actual air hockey game because it doesn't have like air that's making the checkers go back and forth. Do you know what energy it does have that's making the checkers go back and forth? Um, no. Well, we're, what are we using in this game for energy? Rubber bands. That's right, rubber bands. And the rubber bands have what's called potential energy and kinetic energy. Do you know the difference? Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so this game, like you said, is using the rubber bands for energy, right? Mm -hmm. So it's actually called an elastic potential energy system. That's a lot of words to know, but basically what that means is this rubber band is holding a lot of potential energy. When the rubber band is released, the potential energy is quickly converted to kinetic energy. Okay, so look at this potential energy here when it's going back. Kinetic energy when the rubber band is released and it's going forward. And when it goes forward like that, what does that do to our checker? So what is this energy right here when I'm pushing it back? Potential energy. Potential energy. And what is this when I let it go? Um, kinetic. Kinetic. Okay, Julia, I think we're ready to play our game. Yeah. Do you want to be red or black? Um, red. Okay. The goal of the game, Julia, is to get all of your checkers to the other side before I do. Okay. Okay, do you think you could do that? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna shoot one at a time, and if it goes off out of the box, it doesn't count. It only counts if it goes through that hole that we made and to the other side. So for this game, our checkers that we're not playing with are gonna be over on the side, and the checker that we're playing with is gonna be here. Are you ready to play? Woohoo! Okay, let's do it. Ready, okay. set, go! go. Uh, oh, I got one through! Oh no! I got a five over there. Oh, good job! Oh. Uh, <laughs> Julia, the problem you're having is you're going like this. You're going too far back on the checker, and then the potential energy comes back, and the kinetic energy is throwing it over the game like that. So it's better to just do it nice and softly. Try and get your finger in the middle of the checker as much as possible. It just takes practice, just like any other game, right? Okay, go ahead. Okay, let go. Yeah, you did it. See, it's not hard. There you go, you got it again. Okay, hold on, I need to win this game. Oh no! <laughs> Great, girl. <laughs> 
great game. <laughs> Good job. Did you like this game today, Julia? Uh-huh. If you like this video, please press like and subscribe. That way, every time new Winkle videos come out, you'll be the first to know. Also, check out down below for freebies and thewinkle.com. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. If you have a grown-up take a picture or video of you making or playing your air hockey game today, please have them post it on social media. Tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out. <laughs> Go! Thanks, everybody. Bye! Bye. Uh, Let's play it again. Yeah, that was so fun. So fun. Whoa! Wait, I wasn't, I wasn't ready. <laughs>